guys, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video and today we have two little guys here. These are two armoured cars. These are the Lichter Panzer Sparwagen or light armoured vehicle which were an armoured reconnaissance vehicle made by Germany during World War II with a series of variants and these saw service in most theatres of war. They were all made between 1939 to 1944 with a total of 2,394 made in all variants. The base variant was the SDKFZ221 which had a two-man crew but we have here two of these vehicles which are SDKFZ222s which are versions which had a three-man crew and they also besides having the standard 7.92 millimeter mg it also mounts the two centimeter or 20 millimeter auto cannon and around 990 versions of these were made out of the series run and we have one here this one is from eagle moss it is from the um 20th panzer division as it says on the base there um during on the eastern front and here we have one from atlas uh, this is from early on in the war. It's all just in the standard uh, grey. And um, what we'll do is uh, we'll get these open. These are 143rd scale. And um, they are all die cast. And what we'll do is we'll open these up. We will check out the Atlas one first. And um, we will open this up straight away. So here it is out of the uh, box. It uh, I did buy this, as per usual for me, eBay. Uh, these, these both did cost me $25 each. And um, I reckon they're not too bad. They are, aren't, aren't greatly small. It does come in an acrylic case, so if you want to display it um, like this, you can. But you can just uh, remove the base quite easily and put that to the side and gives you great access to the vehicle itself. They do come on uh, a base that does have that weird-ass screw, so if you do want to take these off the base, you need that little head. But the detail on this is fantastic. For, for a $25 model um, in die cars, so... The main body is all, you can fit, it's cold, it's all die cast. Obviously, we'll have some plastic accessories. The um, the gun does move a little bit, that, that 20 millimeter, uh, and the turret does feel like it wants to move around. So it, it is brand new, so it'll be a little bit stiff. So you, you would want to work that in a little bit. But be careful if you do plan on moving around so you don't, because the turret does feel like a plastic part of this. Uh, the wheels themselves, they do look, they do feel like a, the actual tire does feel like a sort of a, a rubber, not plastic or metal, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, the detail does have all of their marked uh, markings and everything like that, and the uh, unit markings as well, uh, which because it doesn't have it written on the base, you can just do a quick search on that unit marking and find out who that is. Uh, this is yeah, this is pretty cool uh, for a little you know armored scout car. It's a reconnaissance vehicle, and we'll do a sausage finger test. It is not um, overly small, so you'll definitely getting some good value for $25 and that was that was in, with the shipping I bought these together with a couple of other ones so it was a bit of a combined shipping but all up it, uh, and that was with taxes as well because we pay the import tax and GST and all that lovely other crap that goes on to the extra expenses for our die cast purchases but I reckon this is a cool cool little unit definitely a nice little buy I think it's a, a good little unit for sure um, if you're into your uh, 143rd scale armor, this will be a great addition to your collection. And it, it has some really good details, as you can see. But what we'll do is we will uh, zip this guy off and have a look at the Eagle Moss version. And here we have the one from Eagle Moss. As I said, this was the same price as the other one, $25. It does come in an acrylic base as well, which you can uh, just remove as per the last one. And put that to the side and it gives you great access to the vehicle. It does come up really nice, like the, the last one. It does. This one, though, does have some details of the unit and where it is from, so you do not have to look up any of those marking details. The tyres themselves feel a little bit rubbery like the last one as well, so they're very similar build. And it does have that uh, shitty little screw on there as well. <laughs> so um, you do have to do the same thing to this one. But the unit markings on it, uh, very nice does have that uh, sort of sand yellow camouflage applied over the uh, standard grey and uh, I think it does come up that fire extinguisher is quite bright which uh, really nullifies that camouflage <laughs> so but um, I think uh, for a scout car you reckon that would not be bright red but hey I reckon this is still pretty cool um, that uh, t you know that two centimeter auto cannon you can see there it's got some barrel uh, detail as well like it's you know not just flat it's got a ho hole indentation to make it look like it's hollow and it looks pretty cool we'll see yeah that, look it moves it's got all, even the mesh the same with the last one has a little bit of a mesh these hatches on the real thing do open um obviously not on these <laughs> 
but it's the same deal. It is, uh, you know, one forty third scale. It's not tiny, but it's not it's not as big as a Tiger, that's for sure. But uh, I reckon it's still pretty cool. And um, I reckon both these vehicles are definitely um, ones to get. I think they are pretty cool. And uh, for the price, you know, $25 on uh, eBay, they are pretty good value for sure. And as I said, both have got the tyres that do have, sort of have a rubber feel to them and they look like they can rotate as well. And the turrets do rotate and everything like that. So you can display them with sort of a bit of an angled turret or anything like that. But overall, I think these are both pretty cool. So what we'll do is we'll get the uh, first one back. We'll put them both down here. And I, I think, yeah, definitely they are nice looking units for sure. So once again, these, this one is by Atlas and this one is by Eagle Moss. Um, they are both 143rd scale. They are both um, SDKFZ 222s or triple twos. Um, they are the uh, reconnaissance vehicle that were mounted with the uh, 20 millimeter or two centimeter auto cannons. And uh, from these are both from the obviously the German army, the Wehrmacht. And uh, I reckon they are cool, cool looking units for sure. All right, guys, if you did enjoy the video, throw us a little like. That'd be awesome. And if you have yet to subscribe to our channel, please feel free to do so. I appreciate everyone that does. Um, I'll take some photos of these guys and chuck them up at the end of the video, which is winding up now. And you can check them out without these fat ass fingers in the way. All right. Thank you so much for spending the time with me. Once again, I appreciate everyone that does. All righty, everyone, you just have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys. <laughs>